Hello everybody, this is Mrs. Moroli with a quick tutorial to show you how to create your graph for your density lab results. Before we begin, make sure you have an Excel spreadsheet open along with this video. I would advise that you pause the video, enter your information into your spreadsheet, and then continue on with the video. This should show you how to do everything from start to finish and as long as you follow along you should be okay. So first you want to go up to the left corner and select all the cells in the spreadsheet because you want to format them. Once you have all of your boxes selected you're going to come over to format cell. Go all the way to the bottom of the menu and click format cells. First thing you want to do is make sure that it says general under the number tab and then under alignment you want to choose center for horizontal and center for vertical and also click the wrap text selection. Once you have that done all of your cells are now formatted the same and you're going to begin by entering the names of your columns starting with the metal one mass then you're going to enter metal number one volume then enter metal number two mass metal number two volume type in metal number three mass and metal number three volume you do not want to use the names of the metals because at this time you don't know what they are. So now you're going to fill in your information from your data table. You want to input the overall final mass and volume of each. But before you do that, you're going to enter zeros into each of the columns because we know that each density is zero mass and zero volume to start. So we want it to go through the origin. When you enter your mass and volumes into the chart, you do not need to include a unit. You just want the values. Make sure you record the exact number of decimal places that you should have written down in your data table. It does not matter whether these are arranged in ascending order you do not need to have the lowest mass first. The Excel spreadsheet will figure that out when you go through and insert the chart. Now that you have all your volumes listed into the spreadsheet, we're going to go through and insert a chart. So to do that, we're going to go up to insert. You're going to select the scatter plot and the chart type. We do not want line, we want scatter. Then you're going to select the first option under the scatter line or the scatter chart. You do not want the scatter plot with lines connected. You just want the markers only. So here's your chart. Doesn't look too good. We're going to do some editing beforehand. Uh, the data series are not placed correctly, but before we change that, we want to select the layout. So you're going to, up at the chart layout, select the first layout. This will add the title and the labels for your axes. So you're going to change your chart title. You can do density graph or density results. Then on your Y axis, this is where you're going to want your mass and you're going to type in mass and then in parentheses you're going to put your unit which is grams. Then do the same thing on your x-axis. This will be your volume. So you're going to put volume and then in parentheses your milliliters because that's what you measured your volume as with the graduated cylinder. Now that you have your title and your axes labeled we're going to go through and change the data. So right click on the graph and choose the select data option. It will pop up a window. In the window you want to remove the series that are already listed because they're not correct. So select them and hit remove. 
and you want them blank. Now your chart will go blank, but that's okay. We're going to add them back. So we're going to hit add. You're going to type in the label of your first series, which will be metal one. Then you're going to put in your X column of series. So you click the button here. Then go over to metal one and on your X axis is volume. So you're going to select the volume points and then click the button again. Then you're going to go down to Y, click the button, delete, make sure it's a blank field and then select your mass of metal one. And then click the button and hit OK. You'll notice that your data points are in a line and you're going to do this for each of your three metals. So you're going to add now metal number two put in the volume of two put in the volume or I'm sorry put in the mass of two and you'll notice that the data series is up for metal two and then you're gonna click OK now you're going to add metal three. Choose the volume for metal three, just the digits, not the heading. And you're going to put in your mass for three. Make sure you clear out the field if you need to. And click OK. Now you have all three sets of data for the three different types of metals. Now we're going to reduce the size of the data points. They're a little large. So you're going right to click, click the data points, right click and hit format. Go to marker options. You're going to hit built in and then change the size. I would go down to three. Makes them small enough. Hit close and do that for each set. Click the marker, go to Format, Marker Options, hit Built In, and bring it down to size 3. And for our final one, do the same thing. Marker Options, Built In, and move down to 3. That way the, the data points aren't so large on the graph. Now that you've done this, it's time for us to add a line to our graph. So select the first metals data points, right click, and now you're going to add trend line. Here on the trend line you want to set intercept as zero. Display equation on sheet. Choose that option and make sure it says linear in the top box. And then hit close. You'll notice a line and an equation for that line displaying on your map or on your graph. Now you're going to do that with the next one as well. Set intercept zero, display equation, and make sure it says linear. Do the same thing for the last set. Add trend line. Set intercept at zero, display equation. It's a linear. And now you have three equations for the three different metal densities. make it bigger you can see the equations and the lines a little bit better but now we want to change where the chart is we want to make it a sheet so um, right click enter in a name and it'll make it an actual sheet instead of an insert to your Excel page then move your equations around so that they're close to their lines and your graph is done. Now all you have to do is hit print. If you have any questions with this, go ahead and re-watch the video.